What's up guys, Giaquinto here, and today we're going to be looking at how to take out Ultima Weapon in Final Fantasy VIII, one of the two super bosses, and how we can obtain Bahamut and Eden. So you're on disc 3, and you just obtained your airship, and you know that you have access to all these great awesome islands in which you can fight overpowered enemies and unlock the last few secrets in Final Fantasy VIII. And you say to yourself, well I want the best summon in the game, Eden. Well, today I'm going to set up an easy strategy for casual players who don't necessarily have the time or don't necessarily want to put the will into farming, you know, all the crazy insane gear and just everything to blow by this fight. So let's get into some of what we need to do to take out Ultima Weapon and obtain the best summon in the game. Now for the casual players out there, there's two different spells you can use in combination with one item to make this fight a cinch for you. The first spell that you would use is Aura. Aura enables you to use limit breaks more often, and you can use these limit breaks, aka special moves for the Final Fantasy VIII characters when you have full health, in combination with Haste, which we're going to get into next, and an item called Hero that makes you invincible, this is pretty much an ultimate combo for Squall. Now Haste is a fairly easy spell to get. As you're playing through Final Fantasy VIII, you'll have multiple opportunities to draw it from multiple enemies. What it does is, it increases your speed temporarily, and it gives you more turns. So when we use Aura to access easy limit breaks, we'll be able to get more turns with the character that we'll be buffing for haste. In our case against Ultima Weapon, that's going to be Squall. We want to give Squall more turns to use Renzo Kuken. So now before we get into the fight, I just want to show you guys one more clip, because I know you're going to ask me, Gio, where do I get Aura? Aura is a very rare spell, and it's something that you're going to barely come across as you play through Final Fantasy VIII. So, for a casual player, this is going to be the one thing that you will have to farm. It's not necessary against Ultima Weapon, it's just that it decreases your risk factor. You won't have to have low health to access your limit breaks. So to get Aura, you pretty much, once you get your airship, you want to fly to the island closest to hell, and you want to fight Ruby Dragons. You want Quistus in your party, and I'm going to show you why in this clip. Now, the most essential thing needed to farming on this island is Initiative. You'll combine Initiative with the Generator. Initiative's an ability in which you can junction it to Quistus and it will give her first turn moves. With these first turn moves, you're going to want to use her limit break, the Generator, which will one-shot any level 100 enemy in the island closest to hell. Which in our case is going to be the Ruby Dragon because we need the Ruby Dragon to get our Fury Fragments. You'll then refine these Fury Fragments to get your spell Aura, and then you'll apply Aura to the character of your choice. Now the final thing needed is Hero. These are very rare. You can look up, you know, Google how to get these. It's not necessary for the fight. Basically, Hero is going to make you invincible. And it's only going to make you invincible for a few minutes, and that's what we want to apply to Squall. This whole strategy revolves around Squall. So basically, what you want to do is, before you put Hero on, because if you put Hero on, not only is he invincible to enemy attacks, but he's invincible to ally buffs. You're going to haste Squall, you're going to put Aura on Squall, and that's going to make him super fast. He's going to get limit breaks every time he pretty much goes. If you don't get a limit break with him, just mash O, you know, switch between your characters until you see the arrow that gives you access to your special moves. And you're just pretty much going to spam and go ham over and over and make sure you have a healer. So this is the fight. I hope you guys enjoy it, and I'm going to cut the commentary here, and we'll take a look at Eden after pretty much everything is said and done. So make sure that as soon as the fight starts, you're drawing Eden from Ultimate Weapon. Enjoy it, guys. <laughs> 